Okay. Okay. Now here we have just another example, and you can see the inclined uh, surfaces. <clears throat> I'm going to let this run one more time, and then we'll stop. We'll pause it, uh, and then make a few comments. Okay. All right, now the one thing, there are actually two things I want to reinforce on this. I don't mean to just keep beating a dead horse, as the saying goes, but this needs to, uh, this needs to sink in. Uh, it's the idea that from two opposing views, two perpendicular views of uh, an inclined surface, uh, one will show a foreshortened area and a view that is perpendicular to that foreshortened area view uh, will at least one of them will be uh, will appear as a line. Okay, and I'm going to show that to you as we look at this. All right, now here you'll see this is an inclined uh, surface, and looking at it straight on, okay, we see a foreshortened area, and that simply once again means that the true distance from here to here is actually less than true size. Once again, the area from here, or the, not the area, the distance from here to here, if we measured it with a ruler, uh, up and down would be less than the true size, or less than the true size. Okay, so looking at it straight, straight on, this area right here, which is an inclined surface, is foreshortened or smaller in at least one direction uh, than true size if we were to actually measure it with a ruler. Okay, now here we see from a perpendicular view, now the first view was from this direction, front on, and you saw a foreshortened side. Well now then we're looking at a view 90 degrees or perpendicular from that frontal view and look here what we see. We see simply a line. Now then, alright, here it is. Uh oh, let's go back here just a second. All right. Here we see just a line. Now the distance from this little corner to this little corner is actual true size. Okay, here because we're it's not foreshortened because the foreshortened distance is looking at it from this direction. But now perpendicular to that view, we're looking at it straight on, and this is no longer foreshortened. It is true length, but it's not an area. It's only a line. Okay. Now then we have. Uh, yet another view, this is uh, what we often refer to or uh, as the top. We look at it from the top, and this distance here from this line to this line is going, if we measured it with a ruler, okay, it's going to be smaller or less than true size. So this is a foreshortened distance. And that's the end of this little video clip. And we'll go to the next topic.